good day guys welcome to my youtube channel on today's video i'll be showing you guys how to use the safepal crypto wallet safepal is a decentralized exchange like trust wallet and is popular again popularity over the years and it's a pretty new wallet though but not that new it was launched i think 2020 or 2021 there about but the wallet is very nice and it has a lot of functionalities it's just like binance it has the functionalities of binance and trust wallet so now first of all you go to your play store apple play store or google play store and download the video uh, the wallet from there i already have it on my mobile device so no need for me to download the game. I will just go ahead into opening the wallet. Mine has been set up already. That's why you saw the fingerprint authentication. So now this is the interface of the wallet. This is my safe power wallet. It looks a bit complicated, right? But it's not. It's just simple. This is my home page with my wallet. It's showing assets that I have. It's showing the overview above here. And I can make a note to show. And then you also have NFTs. The wallet, they've also integrated NFTs into it. Your NFT wallet. But let me go back to my assets. So here, this first place is my wallet. You have your crypto currencies whichever you're holding or whichever you want to monitor if you scroll down below you can see add you can add whatever currency you're looking for you can search for it up here using the search button search whatever currency you're looking for and then turn it on or you tap on the plus icon to add it see let's it has been added I want to turn it off i'll turn it off with the toggle button there and you can also delete but I don't want to delete any coin next to it we have the markets here you can add your favorite coins you want to watch uh, want to be monitoring on the market and all that and here we also have market to show you the price action price change and all the information you need to trade instantly like right now it's telling us the current price of Bitcoin which is at $42,000 the current price of Ethereum which is about $2,900 there about so that's just what these markets are for you can also search you can also start to make favorites and you can also arrange how you want them to appear on your favorites tab which, which is here we also have the DAP, the web tree here. To and the normal, regular, the usual guys we get on the web tree, pancake swap, uniswap, and all that we have them here. We also have the search bar here where you can search for address to open them on the web tree interface. Also have favorites and the rest. So this is your web trade, this is your dApps. Here we have the swap, just like we have on Trust Wallet. Where you can swap coins, you can swap Bitcoin for USDT and all that. You can see. You can touch it to switch it. So you have all that here. Just like Trust Wallet, you would Tap the amount you need, then press next. It will go over. If you want to change the coin, you can come here and change it. Okay, here we have your swap history. Sorry, sorry about that, guys. You have your swap history here. Your swap history. I haven't swapped any coin, that's why my history is empty. But if you do swap, you will get stuff from your history here. And then here's my profile. Where I can set it, yes, my security settings, recovery backup. 
transaction cost you can set how you want your transaction cost to be high medium which will also determine the speed of your transaction if i set it on low transactions might take a longer time than if i set it on high so that will also affect transaction time currency i can change the default currency which i need language which is english obviously then we have the dApps node settings the appearance light or dark mode i prefer using dark mode and what have you color preference and all that so let's say you want to send in a coin you want to transfer coin from let's say trust wallet or binance into this place let's say you want to transfer bnb you will tap on it and then click on receive and it will show you a warning sorry about that guys to show you a warning and then you can read do not transfer bp2 or erc20 token to a bp20 okay the standard warning because look at here showing me the network type pmb bp20 that is this show me the wallet address i can copy or i can share and then here you can see my transaction history because I have done transaction. I have sent in BNB and withdrew BNB. So you can see network fee received, sent, what have you. It's all showing here. So that is part of it. To also send out, I can tap on this to show you one. And also, I'll paste the wallet address and need I'm sending to here the amount. And then press next to proceed and you can also buy coin and explore this buy coin option i think that's where you can buy coin with your credit card and the rest so that is it if you want to deposit btc you come here you tap on it you receive and this is legacy address native different type of address you can transfer to so you can receive here I know that let's see that option is okay and this is the normal BNB BP2 so you have it then here is where you can change the network type okay is the cash other legacy address receive okay okay i think i'm having different addresses i can choose any one i need to use all right i think that's a pretty new feature So we have LTC. Let's see what LTC got. Yep. Different addresses I can use. Oh, that's pretty nice. Then here you can check the graph. All right, I forgot to add that. You can check the price action chart. But the chart is a bit squeezed up. So you can see it here. For any coin you tap on, you can see the chart clear. You can also trade, buy or sell, just like Binance. You can put your limit order, buy order. We have the limit market stop limit, just the same way we have on Binance. So you can see why I say trust. Why I said. SafePal is a combination of both Binance and Trust wallets. Some of these features are like Binance features. The other one swap was on like Trust wallet features. So you have them here. That was on trade. I think my app auto updated itself. Right. Here's my wallet.
Oh, he's opening the Binance for me. Okay, okay. This is the Binance aspect of it, like I said. So, this is like, like if you take up the showing me Binance way. So, if you are used, familiar to Binance interface, it can give you the interface like this. So, you can know what you are doing. So, let me cancel it here. Sell is the same thing. So, that is it. So this is how basically safe pal is and also down below here you can check to see confirmed unconfirmed and network fees and all that so that's all we have here yeah. And yes, your settings is my software. This is my Binance. Okay, yeah, I linked it with my Binance. I think there was a time I did that. Also, there's a plus here. I can pay with my hardware wallet. I can add another wallet from here. I can edit. I can turn this off. This Binance aspect off. Here is to scan to pay and a lot of that things. The wallet is pretty nice, it's so good to use. But my problem with having the wallet is my NFTs, they are not showing here, and I don't know why, or maybe I have to update it first. Because I have some NFTs, okay, showing log into open space. Okay. Yeah, I'm connected. So why is it not showing? So that is one of the problem I have because if I go on DAPS now and I top on Open C, you will see that I have a few NFTs in my Open C wallet, which is already linked to. My safe file, but I don't know why it's not showing. Like you can see, I have four, I've received four NFTs here so far, but I don't know why it's not showing down below. So I don't know why it's not showing here. Let me exit and re login back. Maybe that will try to help me out. Let me relink it to my Safe Pal wallet. Okay, I think I'm signed in successfully. Yeah, I've signed in back. So let's go and see if it's going to appear on my NFT page. And nope, I don't think it's appearing. Maybe that will come in the previous update, but this is basically how to use your safe power wallet to navigate to buy and sell transfer on your safe power wallet so do like and subscribe to the channel for more content and thank you very much for watching